Hello dear learner, today we are going to discuss the pharmaceutical lab preparation which is nothing but a terpene hydrate link. Thus according to the PCI syllabus which is included in the pharmaceutical lab, the preparation is terpene hydrate link. Thus, so first we are going to talk about the aim of the preparation. The aim is preparation and evaluation of terpene hydrate linktus. So the agent active here is it is terpene hydrate. So terpene hydrate as you all know like uh, it is uh, it is generally existing in combination with codeine okay which is the expectorant drug. So terpene hydrate also belongs to the same category that it is expectorant in nature. So on the virtue of this property it is used to loosen the mucus okay now the uses uh, are various uses of terpene hydrates are there so it is used in treatment of chronic bronchitis pneumonia bronchiectasis etc okay uh, then copd also so these all are the uses of the active terpene hydrate now linktus we are supposed to prepare out of that uh, uh, active terpene that is linktus so linktus is what linktus is nothing but it is a dosage form which is a monophasic dosage form that to liquid dosage form so linktuses according to the definition linktuses are nothing but these are the monophasic liquid dosage form which are viscous in nature and contain one or more active ingredient dissolved in the vehicle which usually contains a high proportion of sucrose definitely since they are the viscous monophasic liquid dosage form since viscous they need to have the strong viscosity so one of the option is that the vehicle should contain a high proportion of sucrose or other sugar so which will impart the thick consistency to the preparation like viscosity to the preparation or the suitable uh, co-solvents like uh, alcohols or various suitable polyhedric alcohols so these are nothing but linktuses so we are going to formulate the terpene hydrate linktus the requirements for the terpene hydrate linktus are uh, beaker as you can see here beaker glass rods okay glass funnel bottles to fill the final preparation muslin cloth and other requirements next is the formula we are going to talk about so according to the formula the ingredients are first is terpene hydrate so which is an active here for the formulation of linktus its activity is expectorant as we earlier discussed that this active is acting as a expectorant so it is used in treatment of various conditions like pneumonia bronchiectasis bronchitis etc since it is used to loosen the mucus then next ingredient is it is orange oil orange oil is acting as a flavoring agent here and the other flavorants which can be used in the preparation of linktuses are lemon syrup okay fruit flavored syrup tolu syrup blackcurrant syrup etc glycerin the third ingredient which is acting as a humectant so humectant is nothing but something which keeps the things moist so this is acting as a humectant to the preparation glycerin <coughs> next ingredient is alcohol which is acting as a co-solvent so since it is a co-solvent co-solvent is nothing but it is used to increase the uh, solubility of the primary vehicle so different vehicles primary vehicles uh, like which are used are you can call like syrups different syrups like inward syrup is also there tolu syrup is also there or sorbitol is also there chloroform water is there which is used as vehicle and this alcohol is used as a co-solvent which is helping for the solubilization since terpene hydrate is insoluble in water so it needs a combination as well as also along with that it needs to uh, be it needs that viscosity also should be maintained simultaneously then syrup which is acting as a sweetener to the preparation and purified water which is a vehicle now here in the preparation of linktuses some other ingredients can also be added like uh, stabilizer like here syrup is al also acting as a stabilizer itself okay then next is you can have different coloring agents like 
compound tartrazine solution, coal solution, ta coal tar dyes, etc. And different preservatives can also be added. Like for example, in the preparation of chlorine phosphate linked as benzoic, uh, sorry, boric acid is used as a preservative. And other preservative examples are like benzoic acid, chloroform, cinnamic acid, tolu syrup, etc. So this is with respect to formula. And what when we come to quantities? So there are two quantities which are always uh, there. Quant first is quantity given. So this is the given formula. Or it is maybe either official in some official standard reference books you can call like uh, for example terpene hydrate which is also official in IP 66. So quantity given in the standard formula are uh, labeled under quantity given and quantity taken is nothing but the quantities which we supposed to calculate for the required quantity of the preparation. Like here uh, formula given is for 1000 ml and we are supposed to formulate it for quantity given 10 ml. So what will be the calculation like see terpene hydrate for 1000 ml if it is 50 then for 10 ml it is how much simply we are supposed to cross multiply. So here uh, when you go ahead so this see 100 uh, sorry 1000 ml of the preparation if it contains 50 gram of active that is terpene so 10 ml will contain how much? So 1000 ml 50 hai, 10 ml is how much? So 50 cross multiplication 50 into 10 divided by 1000 which will give you the answer that is 0.5 gram. So here you can see it is 0.5 gram. Accordingly the other quantities are also calculated for 1000 if it is 0.2 then for 10 it is how much? For 1000 if it is 400 so for 10 it is how much? For 1000 if alcohol is 425 so for 10 it is how much? So here simply since the calculation is simpler like uh, you just need to go to decimal behind. So here as you can see here it is four, 425. So to decimal behind it is 4.25 for 10. This was you can calculate simply or using cross multiplication. Next part is procedure. So coming towards the procedure terpene hydrate which is an active is first weighed in the required quantity and then it is dissolved in the mixture of alcohol and glycerin. So you can see in the formula here this terpene hydrate is first weighed in required quantity and then it is dissolved in alcohol and glycerin which is a humectant as well as co-solvent. The next part of the procedure is orange oil syrup was added and the volume was made up with the purified water and the elixir was passed through muslin cloth to obtain a clear solution. So simply active is uh, dissolved in the solvent okay then uh, flavorant is added as well as uh, if any colorant is there it is added and then volume is made up and it is filtered through the muslin cloth for the final fill up. Next part we will go towards category and uses. The category is nothing but it is acting as expectorant which we have already discussed which expels out the cuff, promotes the secretion of sputum okay, and it reads the cuff, it gives the relief from the cuff and it is also having a demulsant effect on the mucous membrane of the throat. So what is demulsant effect now? Demulsant is nothing but it is a soothing effect like it forms a soothing film over the mucous membrane and release the pain or uh, pain in the inflamed tissue like in the throat region it relieves the pain and forms a soothing film over the mucous membrane. So these are the categories <coughs> uses we have already discussed that since it loosens the mucus it is used in various conditions like bronchitis, bronchitis, pneumonia, COPD etc. Next part is uh, this theory part since see here it is an linkedus according to the definition is nothing but it is a viscous monophasic oral liquid dosage form which contains the high proportion of sugar that is sucrose or other sucrose other sugar or alcohol. Then next it is used in the relief of relief from cuff as well as the next important part is the linkedus preparation are always to be sipped in small doses 
and swallowed very slowly without the addition of water for the local and prolonged action like lintus uh, this part is very important always the question is asked on this part why these are to be uh, sipped in small doses and to be swallowed slowly without addition of water so the reason is it is um, it should have a local action as well as it should have a prolonged action so local action is there on the throat mucous membrane of the throat and prolonged action so for prolonged action it should remain there for some time and for local action also it should act on that area so if it is sipped in small doses and swallowed very slowly without the addition of any diluent or water so what it will do it will uh, remain for the longer time in the area uh, in that particular region and since it remains for the longer time it will give you the prolonged action as well as the local action which is limited to that particular part like throat area so it uh, it is acting as a demulsion wherein it is forming a soothing film over the mucous membrane and it is giving the relief from the pain in the inflamed tissue and it is diluted in the multiple of 5 like you can uh, see uh, always the dose is multiple of 5 next part is quality control test okay quality control test includes various organoleptic evaluation like its color odor taste color will give you here in this preparation like uh, based on the flavor and what you have added the intensity of the color then odor again the flavor and then taste how it tastes clarity ph viscosity weight specific gravity ph okay clarity can be checked through the uh, examination uh, examination through the light background and dark background this is viscosity relative viscosity weight specific gravity so these are various quality control parameters for the liquid preparations next part is its label okay so terpene hydrate label content as you can see here each 5 ml contains terpene hydrate 2.5 gram why because in the formula since the 10 ml of the preparation contains active terpene which is 0.5 so 5 ml uh, so here we will go to the formula see 10 ml so it is 0.5 so for 5 ml it is 0.25 not 2.5 0.25 it is category is expectorant storage it is to be stored in cool and dry place and replace cap tightly after use dose is 4 to 5 ml and the other manufacturing details are same as usual the label the quantity manufactured at and other manufacturing details and this is 0.25 gram since 10 ml needs 0.5 it is for 5 ml it is 0.25 not 2.5 synopsis viva questions include see what is linktus give the pharmaceutical applications of linktus how linktus should be diluted okay why they are diluted with freshly prepared chloroform water and sorbitol solution like uh, this all things we have discussed okay linked us uh, during the theory part give reason why linked us should be sipped slowly in small doses without the addition of water and name some official linked us preparation so other official linked us preparations um, the noscapine linked us which is officially in ip96 as well as falcodine linked us which is officially in ip96 and the linked us which are officially in bpc are methadone linked us and opiate squill linked us etc these are the synopsis viva questions with this we finish with the terpene hydrate linkers so all the manufacturing part as well as theory part thank you